Hi, my name is Kayla Osteen and I will be presenting my district profile assignment on the Norris School District. I don't currently work for this district, but I chose it because it's close to where I live and I have heard many great things about it. So let's learn a little bit about Norris School District. Um, currently, there are four elementary schools and one middle school within this district and it is located in Bakersfield, California. This is a map of the school district and the attendance boundaries. So you can see that it is pretty small, but it does cover a lot of area. The district demographics for the North School District is that it is in Kern County and it serves the grades kindergarten through eighth grade. Student enrollment is at a little over 4,000 students with 4.2% of those students being English language learners, 26.3% having free or reduced lunches, 0.7% are foster youth, and 6.5% of the students do have disabilities. On the right, you can see the percentage breakdown of the ethnicities within this district. So you can see that the uh, white population is at half of the ethnicity breakdown, with Hispanic slash Latino being um, a little more than 30%, and then small percentages after that. This is the district mission statement. Um, it does focus on the students as a whole, that's what I kind of like about it, that they strive for excellence in academics as well as commitment, belief in oneself and each other, and then sharing the power and learning decisions and learning how to do some uh, decision-making skills. They really focus on the student and how to um, make them the best person they can. The defining characteristics and the LCAP priorities, um, the district goals that the LCAP presented were that the first goal is that all students will have access to a rigorous instruction provided by highly effective teachers and supported with appropriate resources in a safe learning environment. The second goal is that all students will achieve academic proficiency through effective classroom intervention and the integration of technology. And the third goal is to significantly increase parent and community engagement to inspire them to be actively involved in preparing their students to be college and career ready and to reduce chronic absenteeism. And then a little sub um, part of this plan is to also increase teacher efficiency and student ownership in their learning. Um, again, I do like how the district focuses on the student as a whole. They make sure that they have an appropriate and well-developed teachers, classrooms, and resources, as well as making sure the student's community and parents are just as involved and engaged in the academics of the children as the children are. And having the parents so involved is amazing to me. Um, and we'll get we'll talk about more of that in a little bit. I do also love their district model. Every single school says that the students are respectful, responsible, and safe. I like that it's clean, it's it's clear, and it's just easy to understand for all students. Um, this is the LCAP budget summary. It's just a screenshot of the summary for the 2017 to 2020 years that the district has proposed. The district does have a very detailed explanation of where the money is going in the LCAP document that is pretty long. So um, everything that I looked at though within the budget breakdown was very useful and promising for the district and they are providing the, the teachers and the students with resources that is very much needed. Some recent changes in the district is that they do plan to build a filth fifth elementary school, which is set to open for the 2020-2021 school year. Um, starting the year in 2018-2019 school year, the district did purchase enough Chromebooks to take Norris Middle School uh, student device ratio to a one-to-one, -one, which is very exciting for them. The class, uh, they did focus on a class reduction size of 24 to one for transitional to kindergarten to third grade. Another change was that um, they increased from five professional development days to 10 for the teachers. And another or one last change was that they did revamp and update the school district website, which it does look very nice now. Um, one strength that I noticed in this North School District is their testing results. The school district as a whole is testing above average for English language arts as well as almost on target for math. Um, for English, you can see that they are in the green scoring area with 
18.2 points above standard. And for math, they are in the yellow scoring area with only 0.1 point, 0.1 point below standard. These statistics to me are very impressive and it's showing that they are doing a great job with what um, they are implementing for academics. Another strength, as I mentioned before, is parent involvement. Each individual school and the district as a whole prides itself on having a strong parental support system. Um, some examples of their support systems is the Parent Teacher Club, which provides support for many activities in the school. And they organize many school events and raise funds that benefit for all the students, teachers, and families. They also have a school site council that is made up of equal parts of parents and school personnel who work together to benefit the students and help out at the school. There's also parent volunteers that are used in classrooms to support instruction, prepare the learning materials, as well as chaperone field trips and support community events. Um, also, the North Bakersfield Recreation and Parks District runs after school sports teams and they the parents are involved in being coaches and scheduling the practices and games and for all students to participate in. Um, parent involvement is very recommended and encouraged at every single school site and all over the website as well. There's plenty of things for parents to do to be involved in their kids or their students' academic life as well as their social life. Um, moving on to the weaknesses or challenges for the Norris District. First is in regards to the English language learners. Previously, I mentioned that there was only 4.2% of English language learners in the district as a whole. So this group has scores in the orange range, which lands them 46 points below standard. Only 31% of them are well developed. I am curious if this is due to the low percentage of English language learners within the district as a whole and that they're not getting um, the full attention that they need. But I did read in the LCAP that the district is now focusing on professional development courses for the teachers and resource teams alike, specifically geared towards English language learners and how to help them achieve higher scores. So it does look like they are working on this, and hopefully in the future we will see higher um, points above standards, or at least higher points closer to the standard. A second weakness or challenge that I found in the district is that the uh, website has been updated and revamped recently. And while it does look easy to navigate and it, it does look very nice, some of the data that's provided is out of date. For example, the school ab accountability report cards are from the 2016-2017 school year. So there's not any new uh, detailed data for anyone to see and it was a little bit hard to um, find any kind of detailed data on their site for me for this project. Um, one last weakness or challenge that I found was with the district is the class sizes. Um, they are continuous across the campuses however the class sizes are a bit big. The more students a teacher has and is responsible for it's, it makes it harder to teach them. As I did mention previously, I did find that the district is working on opening a new elementary school, so hopefully that this will help with the class sizes and make them a little smaller. I also found that the district um, has implemented the standard um, class size in TK through third grade that will be capped at 24 to 1. So that does help with the third grade and down, but the fourth grade through eighth grade it does look still a little high so I'm interested to see how that works out and then again as I mentioned in the previous slide the um, the data that's provided on the websites are out of date so I only have 2014 to 2017 to look at so I don't know if they've already improved this in the last two years but as of what I saw it's looking like it's a little bit high which is a challenge for the teachers and the students alike. From what I found that was available to me, I do believe that the North School District is doing a great job with developing their students as a whole and as also developing their teachers and their community. Um, some recommendations I would give would be to continue the teacher education, especially with focusing on the ben and benefiting and assisting students with disabilities, um, especially the English language learners. Um, student or er, 
Teacher education also can improve technology knowledge, student motivation, improves the organization and time management for teachers, and just improves general skills as a whole. It's just so important for teachers to continue to educate themselves to become or to become and be better teachers. Um, I also recommend that they focus on their goals and just really strive to create well-rounded students that. Um, are great in academics as well as great in life skills. Um, the parent involvement, I still believe, is amazing for this district. They So we just continue on that because having a parent involved reduces teacher burnout and improves academic um, achievement. It reduces absenteeism because the parents are more involved and know that they need to be there that day. Um, builds confidence in the parents as well as the students because they know that they have th that everyone understands them and they have their backs. Um, as I've mentioned before, to maintain the class sizes to a 24 to 1 for all grades, if we can get that all across all grade levels, that would be amazing for teachers and the students alike because it does enhance teaching and learning. All students can be recognized. It makes a better class community. Everyone's more um, close-knit and um, teachers have time to make special lessons for students that need it and then it's also just it allows for more of a tailored instruction to what the students need rather than what um, they, it needs to happen. The final thing is just to maintain a high level instruction. They're doing really well so far as the test results show so if they just maintain the high level instruction and really try to gear towards um, helping every student get to that high level their district will just remain a great district. These are just some of the references that I used for my um, presentation. You can see that I mainly used this the district profile or just the district site, but I also looked at some other places. And that is my presentation. Thank you for listening.